Hello everybody, it's I, the, Lu the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last, last time, uh, last time, well, we, uh, actually, what did we do last time? All right, we got a, a, a magnet, and we got some tokens, uh, specifically 10 million of them that we, uh, cheated out of a guy named Boris Kringle. No, wait, that isn't right. His name is, uh, Leonard Steak Charmer. So anyway, uh, Bosco has a little something for us. Do we have to turn those 10 million, uh, do we have to turn in those 10 million, uh, tokens for? Also, he's French now. We oh, yeah. want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Yeah. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your 10 million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg. These are not American dollars. No, but there are 10 million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes at Ted E. Bears can be quite useful. I accept, and in return, I give you the miniature listening device. Hey. This is a bug. Precisement. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. Oh. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again, and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a Nam, boy! You don't want to know what I've oh. been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Ooh. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket. Move, maggot. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I I I love the bug. I love I love that he's a goddamn soldier. <laughs> the fact that he uh, fought it in Vietnam. They're ready. Well, now we can head back to uh, Teddy Bears and get into that room we couldn't get into earlier. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland. Goody! Yep, anyway. Yep, let's just skip all the dialogue there because we've already listened to all that. And. And Welcome here we to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, man. Meatball sandwich display. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Interesting. Eh, whatever. Uh, here's, the uh, here's Steak Charmer. Better luck next time. Sucker! Leave me alone. Uh, look. Hello there, Freaky Bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? <laughs> we asked first! Wanna play cards? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? <laughs> Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? <laughs> That's all he says. Ah, oh, man. Well then. Organic. Yep, there we go. And then, uh, we should still have, yeah, we, yeah, we still have tokens. And if we re remember last time, we put a, we put a, uh, a token in the thing. One. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? <laughs> you may enter. Then we, we just need to... Uh, move over here a bit. There we go. Grab our organic uh, device. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? 
That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. I, I like I was watching that whole thing. Anyway. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Yep, and we might as well enter in here. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look, that must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? Uh... <laughs> I thought this was a Mafia-free establishment. Was mafia? Exactly. Yeah, sounds I can't good. think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Hmm. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you <laughs> and to there do it for is. us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. Uh, no problem. I assume store that would be Bosco. Called Bosco's yep. Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain civil pandemic. Uh-oh. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. All right, and... What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Yeah, I Do think we got it. three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Let's not chance it. Uh, we want to talk, we to, want to, talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. We'll be back. Okay. Word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Yep, that's fair. Alrighty. Well then. Well, I, I guess we got some mafiaing in, in to do. Wait a minute. Should, it, should that mean I should start talking in a New Yorker accent like this, eh? I'm actually I'm not sure if that's a really good uh, New Yorker accent. Uh, I guess let's go deal with Bosco first. Hey, 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 Bosco! I got, I got something very in inconvenient for you. It's uh, you're you're gonna like it, you know. Bonjour. Alrighty. 
Hey, Bosco. Uh, look, it's the Toy Mafia. Look outside, it's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. You will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. Uh, what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. All right, so while Bosco's doing that, uh, remember this magnet? Yeah, we, we can put it on the... He's pretending to do the word jumble. He's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. <laughs> yep, and there it goes. Yeah, eat pavement, camera. Oh, the society pages. <laughs> Must be skull and bones. I, I like, I, and then we got a... Uh... He's pretending to read the gardening section. So it's true. He is Toy Mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. He's coming in. We're done for. I surrender. I surrender. There we go. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver. He delivered. I can't believe that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh, yeah. You're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. I, I like how we just said that in front of Bosco and, uh... Hey, wait a second. Why didn't BTS part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh, no, no, no! And he realized, huh? So, I wonder, do we see the camera outside? No, we don't. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, I guess let's, let's go Let's go deal with Sybil, uh, secondly. We're going to take the... Uh, oop. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Yep. I'm sure she's not going to care. Uh... I'm sure she's not going <laughs> to... She's, she's going to try and drink her coffee without the cup in there. Brilliant. Alrighty. Let's run all the way back to Bosco's. Probably should have done this first, but whatever. Cause, cause we don't, cause we don't want to kill Sybil. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And we're gonna fill it uh, with a good old bit of ketchup. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? And then. And let's just let's just run all the way back to Sybils and uh, deal with that. Hmm. We're gonna. My goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me. And then we shoot the coffee cup. Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on our points. <laughs> hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? 
I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> Man, Max hey, the camera. Webcam tastes like chicken. Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey, Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yep. Let's talk to Sybil. See how she's feeling. Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean, Dame. I mean, Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam. Max. Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The toy mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant murder. Let's see. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Well, we did it for you anyway. Grab, Fuck you. Corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. <laughs> They're ready. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch. Really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. Let's see. Yep. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the- Ouch. Really? Yep. Well, now we have to figure out what the sandwich is, and I think I have a good idea. Well, there's only one spot we haven't checked yet. Uh, back to the office. Because uh, the mafioso mentioned something about fencing. And would you know it? Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. They're ready. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder. Hey, I was gonna return it. Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? Hey, <laughs> Hey, is that cap gun? Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Say rough, say rough. I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Hmm. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Oh, man. Hey! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmin as a team. Follow my lead. Your mama's so fat. Your mama's so fat. 
All right, let's see. Uh, I think she has more folds than the origami accordion. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up a little, buddy. Uh, okay, let's making see. Making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Uh, your mama's so your radiant. Mama's so radiant. Uh, ah, oh, oh, this will make sense. Radiant, because, re you know, radiation. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I like how you keep getting Definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Your mama's so thrifty. Your mama's so thrifty. Uh, let's see. Thrifty as in thrift store. Uh, what would make sense? Ah, she brings coop. Coop. To the she penny arcade. She brings coupons to the penny arcade. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Already. Your mama's so perky. Your mama's so perky. Uh, I guess this one? The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop, please. Jeez, he's, he's going be red like a tomato. Over. You'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Uh, your mama's your so mama's punctual. So punctual. That? I she showed up early sense. for her own funeral. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the pride slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerk bag. How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker. Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens when you... We pull stuff, pull stuff like that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh... Steak Charmer. I think Where are we going, name. Sam? Teddy Bears. Goody! Anyway, time to head back to the, uh, to the casino, eh? Welcome to Teddy Bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presto, a non-armed bandit no longer. And then... You're on fire! Success! There it is. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no! Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised you couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. There we go. Oh, we don't even need to say the password. Cool. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. 
That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Ted E. Bears. For all we know, the original Teddy Bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get hmm. them! Head for the car, little buddy. There we go. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only modern technology gone horribly, horribly awry. Alrighty, well, let's well, see what we can do here. This is not good. Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Well, that was easy. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! I mean, I mean, at least that, at least that one was a lot more noticeable than the uh, than the manhole. Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. All right, well, let's see what we have here, workstation. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean anything. Uh, let's see, chalkboard. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Uh, let's try the bear head. I, I also like how we're wearing the, uh, the same bear heads. <laughs> what about the mini bar? What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? Interesting scene. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Alrighty, what else is there? Monitors. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. Well, the only other spot we could try is the actual door itself. There we go. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these. I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then. And this hypno bear will make you my willing slaves. <laughs> you can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings. Look! Look at the hypno bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves. Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Hmm. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend. I command it. This blows. <laughs> Well, luckily for us, we do have the cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is that Hey, 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 looks like he took some, uh, I can look. Only two days to 
to retirement. You gotta promise to keep all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so For cowards die a thousand deaths. <laughs> well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. <laughs> so good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Ugh. Why am I so cold? Up oh, and uh, well, that well that happens. Well then. Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave. You run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> Well then, time for me to figure out. Well, that didn't do much. This is quite a gizmo. Fire extinguisher. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Uh, what happens if I try shooting it? I'm surprised he doesn't even hear any of it. Well then, I'll try shooting this thing. Insidious. Insidious? Nefarious. Nefarious. Uy. Why I oughta. Let's see, one-armed bandit. You're on fire. That's a computer. This is quite a gizmo. Let's try talking to Matt since he. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions. It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. I hmm. wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Wait a minute. See, I'm nothing stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Yeah, Max is oh, right. Some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. Stay put. I'll work things out. All right. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it. I'm, I'm like, I like how uh, the, I like how the mole's not even uh, paying attention to this. Oh, I didn't even Anybody realize he got a screw loose. Uh, well, let's see. Ooh, can we use it on the one-armed bandit then? Oops, you're on fire. Ah, uh? hey, wait a minute. You're on fire. Shh. Maybe this gives me an idea. Insidious. I wonder, can we use this on the recycling tube? You're on fire. I can't use the voice box there. Uh. There we go. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Oh, isn't that cute? So from there, ah, what do we do with the bear now? Let me think about this. Uh, use. Wait, what happens if I put this on the hopper? Uh, oh, there we go. 
Okay, so if I put this Framel what's it in this Blingle Flipper. There we go. Okay, we're making progress here, folks. Oh god, we are way over, huh? Luckily, this is all all done now. Almost all over. You're on fire. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, comics. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. Anyway, the mole. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire! I'm on... I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> well, what now? Uh... Oh, you hit the lever. There goes that... nothing. I'm on fire! There we go. And I think this is how we beat him, eh? Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? We should probably get out of here. I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one. Run! Woo! <laughs> and... Oh, oh wow, our car even got launched a bit. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. <laughs> Hmm. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Hmm. Intriguing. Well then, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing. It'll help my channel grow and I'll... Help push the video onto the YouTube algorithm because they are uh, not very good. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we start episode four, uh, whatever whatever the episode would be. So, with that being said, uh, well, I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>